All right, so my grandma, she's 82. She's a bit nuts, but when we were kids, she would always use this phrase to describe my granddad, or basically any slightly husky, overweight man that she found attractive, she would say, ooh, your granddad's all meat, a real treat. And when I was a kid, I never knew what that meant, but sadly now I'm an adult, I know what it means. Anyway, that's today's video, all meat. Hopefully it's gonna be a real treat. It's a steak challenge, which is what everyone's been asking for lately, so we're almost there. Hopefully it's gonna be delicious. Uh, it's certainly humongous, so should be a lot of fun. So we're at the Ride the Rams today, taking on their monster steak challenge. I've never actually done a steak challenge on the channel before. I've done one before, like years ago, but this is the first on the channel, much requested. So I'm gonna start the timer, hopefully. There, there, is it, is it, go, is it, is it working? What are you playing at? Yep. I don't even really like peppercorns, so I'm just gonna put this here. Ooh, that might, uh, that might actually come in handy. I kind of got like a, there's no point in me doing that. I kind of got like an inbuilt one with my beard. Look at the size of, look at the size of this knife. That's not a knife. I don't know why I did that. Let's do it. Eesh, what's up beard army, welcome back. The hardest part about this is gonna be just slashing it up. Bit dramatic, I just spent, you know, Cutting it up with the knife there. Is that cooked okay for you, Mama? Yeah, perfect, thank you. You all right? You okay there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't eat meat. Hello. Thank you. 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 Ah, that lady's face. That was confusion, disgust, and I think a little bit of arousal in there, if I'm honest. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Anyway, today we are doing a steak challenge. Finally, so many people have asked for this. Should really be cutting it up now. I think that counts as assistance, babe. Yeah, Mrs. Beard was just asking me there if I wanted her to cut the steak up for me, but I thought technically that would be cheating, so I told her to refrain from cutting duties. But yeah, today we are at the Ryder Arms, taking on their Ryder Monster Challenge, which is a giant steak. You might say a monstrously giant steak. This thing is 80 ounces and you get one sitting to finish this. There is, uh, there's no like time limit in terms of minutes allowed or anything like that. Ooh, that was a big old gulp of steak right there. You might even call it a metric mouthful. Although, probably nobody would call it that. But, um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is the first steak challenge on the channel. I have done a steak challenge before, but it was a long time ago. And to be honest, I tend to try and avoid them. Uh, because, in my opinion, I think once you get over like 30 some ounces, it's really hard to cook a steak well and evenly and have it taste nice. But so many people have asked for a steak challenge lately that I thought it was about time I just bit the bullet and, uh, and did one. Well, speaking of drinks, Mrs. Beard's a little bit quiet today because she was out getting drunk last night, so... Just getting a time check there from my partner in crime. But uh, yeah, given that 
I pretty much have that theory about big steaks just not tasting good. I kind of wanted this to be bad to like prove my theory, but um, it wasn't. It was absolutely delicious. I'd heard some really good things about this place, the Rider Arms, um, and it didn't disappoint. Will you stop making disgusted sounds, please? This is how normal people eat. Well, not normal people, but this is what normal people eat. Alright, Mrs. B wants me to show you how rare the meat is because she thinks it's disgusting, but you wouldn't order a steak challenge well done because it would be even harder to eat. Yeah, you got to think tactically. Just giving Lindsay a lesson in uh, eating challenge strategy there. Got to order it medium rare. There's no other way. <laughs> well, at least it's with cow juice, not man juice. Shut up. Eat your food. Mm. 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 Every bit. Especially that. Don't taunt me. <laughs> the end parts are the hardest parts because they're chewy. Yeah, of course the uh, the outside of the steak is bound to be chewier than the inside. But honestly, I really cannot complain about the steak. I could have eaten it all day long, and I'm not even a huge steak fan, to be honest, but it had a nice, creamy, rich, salty flavor. Really impressive. Fortunately for you, I find fatty things quite attractive. <laughs> so at this point it looks like I've done most of the hard work but a lot of the uh, the fattier pieces are, are left here I ate the easier pieces first Oh, you're doing alright there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to veggie and chips next to what to get that finished with. <laughs> and some dessert. Yeah, so if you have chance to do the win. It probably would turn you vegetarian if you didn't like sausage so much. Ha 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 ha. Quiet. Oh yeah, you do like that. <laughs> just some, just some sinew. Yeah, I think that was a little shred of tendon or something got stuck in my teeth. <laughs> to take a chance <coughs> and swallow that big piece of fat hole. Yeah, that's another thing with steak challenges is you're really gambling with your swallows sometimes. Um, that sounded a bit odd, but um, I just mean you got to try not to choke. Oh. I normally cut the fat off steak. What? <laughs> so the uh, the the challenge itself is uh it's 70 quid to uh to actually order so it's a pricey one and you don't get your money back if you win these are just chunks of pure fat <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Just give me three and then just swallow these pieces off. <laughs> Leave no doubt. 
Otherwise, Randy will be complaining at me. Haha, <laughs> little Randy joke there. But, uh, yeah, normally I don't do uh, pay and play challenges or I try to avoid them. But uh, this one, you get a pretty cool t shirt if you win. So I saw some pictures and I kind of thought, yeah, I want that. Right. So apparently these aren't actually part of the challenge. So the steak is done now. But I'm gonna eat them anyway. Not use the peppercorn sauce, so it's gonna put the skin on it now. <laughs> Oh no, I got it on my timer. Oh, yeah, I, I take it that this is for your benefit because you don't have to eat it on our account. Oh, I hate to waste food, you know. Can't waste food. Can I have a look at the dessert menu as well? If you get stuff. Yeah, certainly, mate. Thank you. Do you want me to clear those? Would you uh, like yes. to see a dessert? Uh, yeah, okay. okay, thank, thank you. you. This peppercorn sauce is actually really nice. Not normally a fan of peppercorn sauce. I mean, I don't mind it, but... I can't digest them, they just come out of me whole. Honestly, I said it in the last video. I actually said in the video, they come out of me so clean, you could wash them and just serve them to someone. Oh, hi. Nobody likes strawberry ice cream. What are you going to choose for me? Um, I disagree. No, come on, you can do better. I'm tempted by that one. Banoffee what? Homemade banoffee, that doesn't make sense. Just put like bananas and toffee on the plate. <laughs> Meringue nest. A meringue nest. Oh, what's in that? Why not, darling? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, okay. I think that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. Which is the most expensive one? That's generally what I go by when it comes to the dessert. So, yeah, as you can see, the challenge is done now. I just kind of thought I would leave the timer running while I finished the equally delicious accompaniments. The, uh, the chips and the veggies were very good, as was the peppercorn sauce. Should probably have tried some of that on the steak itself. But I uh, got the steak down, I think, in like 25 minutes. Not half bad. Really enjoyed the meal, and we're just debating what dessert to order now. I think I went with something called the Chocolate Monster, which was pretty much a brownie with some ice cream and chocolatey sprinkled things on it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. <sighs> <laughs> a little peppercorn nipple. I'm gonna have to lick this off. <sighs> All right, so that was eight. That was eight. <laughs> that was eighty ounces. I think the biggest solo steak challenge in England is 120 ounces. So that should be a piece of cake, really. A piece of steak. That's a pretty good one, babe. Well done. Chocolate monster to follow the steak monster, or whatever it was called. How can you not like vanilla ice cream? <laughs> t-shirt then everyone says that i don't show my t-shirts when i win so this is actually quite a cool one it's got like frankenstein's monster on there is that boris karloff <laughs>